Good morning, good afternoon to you all parents, caregivers, and all those who may be listening to me right now. I'm Rhoda Banda from Zambia, married, and one of our children is autistic. Her name is Florence. So in this uh, discussion, I'm going to share with you what my husband and I have gone through, raising a child who is autistic together. So when Florence was born, it was really difficult to know that she had this challenge. But one of the first things that we discovered was that Florence had a delayed speech. And then after that, we saw that uh, with time, she was not aware of her immediate environment. So we went to seek for medical attention regarding a speech, and we were told it is delayed speech, and that as she grows, it will come. We just need to place her in school. So we, at three, at three years, we took her to a preschool, to try and let her interact with others. But that too did not help. Actually, as she grew up, we realized that um, she had no control of herself. So <clears throat> Florence then grew up to the age of five. Now being my second born child, that's when I saw that she was different from my first child. And even the growing up was different. That's how we came to learn about doc, Dr. Alok Sharma from India, uh, particularly at Neurogen. Now, doctor and his team traveled to Zambia for a seminar. So through a friend, I was able to know about him and his services. So after listening to what they were doing back in India, we decided to take a step with my husband. By that time, when we, we heard about Neurogene, Florence was 15 years. Of course, we, had, we were told that uh, if the child is young, uh, such a procedure works fast. And the procedure is called stem cell therapy. It's not an operation, it's a procedure. So that's how we sat down with my husband, discussed and decided to give it a try. So at the age of 15, in 2018, we made our first trip to India at Neurogen Hospital. When we arrived, of course, we had the prior discussions on our movements. We were um, uh, received at the airport and driven to the center. There, we were well received by the staff there, and our stay was really me uh, memorable. So Florence went through the procedure, and... Um, it was a safe one. We didn't have complications and the Florence managed to be on her own even after the procedure. Now, after a week, we got back home. Of course, there was a little change. Maybe at this time, allow me to explain to you some of the behavior that she portrayed at the age of 15. So Florence was very hyperactive. Florence could not uh, have eye contact with someone if you are talking to her. Florence would remove her clothes anywhere without really having shame of who is seeing her. Florence could also not sleep well. Uh, above all, she, she was not aware 
of her immediate environment. Now, when we reached here, we were explained to of how they be, the procedure will be, and we were asked if we were ready to go ahead because uh, one thing I appreciate about this place is that you are not forced. They explain to you and then you decide whether to go on with the procedure or not. And that's what happened. So after that procedure, like I earlier said, we registered one first change in the life of Florence, and that was reduced hyperactiveness. <clears throat> Florence become, became a bit calm, but of course, we still had uh, some challenges with her regarding other behaviors. But the good part of it is that we were told some of the therapies that we could be doing with her, like the games, uh, some uh, activities. So, the like I said, the first sign that we saw was reduced hyperactiveness. And then we kept on trying the therapies that were given that would do, uh, help with speech and also making her have a healthy body through exercising. So the review period was six months, and that the first trip was in 2018. So in 2019, we came back to Neurogen and did another stem cell therapy procedure, the second one. At this time, Florence was 16 years old. Now, after this procedure, again, the staff was really kind. They received us well. We were well kept, and we went back home. After the second procedure, we again registered another positive change, where Florence now was able to, to keep her environment clean. She would do, uh, pack things. She would put shoes in one place. She would do pick clothes, put them in one place. So to us, this ex uh, excited us because now we realized she was being aware of the environment around her. And then also, compared to the first visit, the scan that was done this time, because they normally do brain scans, showed that um, there was an improvement uh, with regard to her brain, because the first one indicated that uh, a bigger part of her brain was damaged, but this time it had been repaired. So hence, some of those positive changes we saw. Then we were also told additional therapies, which we went back to try. In 2020, again, we came to try the third time. Now, after this one, really, we now uh, became very happy because at least we were able to see more than one change in her behavior. She was able to sit at school because we even enrolled her at school. So she was able to sit for a session. She was able to interact with other children at a special school and also to interact with the teachers. Of course, not through speech, but at least an engagement with them. So that 2020, we went back, but because of COVID, we couldn't come back in good time. So then... We came back this year in 2024. Now, between 2020 and 2024, Florence has shown great improvement. Florence can now make a cup of tea for herself. Florence can now clean up in the kitchen. Florence can make her bed. She can wash her uniform and other clothes, of course, with supervision. Now, being a girl child, one of the concerns that I had 
was how it was going to be when Florence becomes of age. So now it's really gratifying as a mother that at the time that Florence is having her messes, she's able to take care of herself by knowing when to change, when to take a bath. And this really has made me happy. And this really has settled my mind because it was one of the worst fears that I had. Florence has really recorded great improvement to the point where my husband and I do not regret trying this uh, stem cell procedure. We are happy that indeed we made the right choice. Even now, as we have come back, the instructors have indicated that there is a very great change, a very good change in her. She is able to do most of the therapies on her own. Initially, when we come and it's time for therapies, we would escort her. But now we would just wait for her while she goes to do the therapies and come back. So this indeed has made us happy that we don't regret coming here. To the other parents and caregivers, please take a step and try. I know that such things, when you try to hear from a lot of people, you may be discouraged. But please try, try it and see how it will work for you. Thank you.